Sometimes in life, we just randomly meet the most interesting people, or hilarious people, or maybe great storytellers. Well, on this afternoon, island hopping in the Philippines, I met someone who was all of the above. Her name, Charlita. She told the most wild foreigner Filipina love story I have ever heard. It's full of twists and surprises. She is now a widow after 21 years, married to an Australian guy named Jim, and she has since returned to the Philippines, living on a beautiful remote island. Well, let's just get into it. How did you meet your Australian husband? A friend of mine introduced me. You meet this guy because you are yep, yep, yep. <laughs> he, is, he is the uh, quiet person. Oh, oh, the perfect balance. Yeah, so what I did, I met him in the airport. So this really was an old-fashioned setup. There was no photos to know what he looks like, just her friend's recommendation. So I went to the, he told me to meet him, so I have my placard. Welcome, Jim Alexander Holt. <laughs> you were holding the sign with his name yeah, on it. Yeah, nice. when he come out from the plane, you know, there are people coming out already. But my eyes was focused to him. I said, I wish he's the one. I keep holding this one. <laughs> You're like, please be the one. I, I wish he's the one. I keep holding it. And then he, I, my eyes is following him, you know. Then after that, he was looking. And then suddenly he, come, he came to me. I said, wow, he is the one. <laughs> he is the one. He did it. Oh, that's great. Oh, he's the one. Then, but he don't like me in the beginning. Oh, you know why? Because why? he live in Bondi and he is used with the bikinis and the shirt. You know? Oh yeah. And and the style at that time and you were conservative. Year, was here. The, the, the yes. is up to here. Yeah, that's typical, right? Yes. So in terms of modesty and beach attire, especially at that time, Australia was a completely different world. So Jim went back to the friend that introduced them and said, why did you introduce me this old-fashioned woman? <laughs> <laughs> the next day is Valentine's Day, but I made already this shirt with it tearing, tearing there, you know, and the blouse is full of heart, Ooh. heart, heart. Yeah, yeah. And then my landlady, when I go home, I tried it. He said, Charlita, you look like a boricat. You know boricat? Prostitute. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so. I went to his room, I said, I use your bathroom. Well, I will have a shower. I mean, he, yeah, okay, okay. When I come out, he said, that's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I really found the man that I really wanted. So things really took off from there. And with the long distance relationship back then, they used to write each other letters. And after a couple of years with Jim visiting every few months, Charlita thought she wanted a little more commitment. So she wrote Jim a letter and said, Please marry me. I said, no, what for? Marriage is only a piece of paper. I said, when you come back, are you, I'm, not, I'm not here anymore. So Charlita waited way longer than she's used to to receive another letter from Jim. But she finally got one. She opened it up and it said, September. I'm coming back to marry you. She immediately wrote him back and said, I thought it was just a piece of paper. What made you change your mind? He said, I want pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I want pussy. <laughs> so every time he write, he write me a letter, I said, he said, I miss the Yahoo. <laughs> Meaning, he missed the, you know what? Yeah. Now what's interesting about this is she went on to say that this sort of thing they found hilarious and how having a sense of humor was such a key to their happiness. She said their arguments always turned into laughter. She would say things like, You must be stupid son of a bitch. Because he made a mistake. And he said, you must be lucky I am stupid because if I'm not stupid, I'm not going to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> And what he, don't, it, he don't stop me wherever yeah. I go, you know? Right. He gave right. you freedom, you gave freedom. him freedom, and you freedom. trusted each other. Honesty and freedom. It's so important. And this is where things got interesting in the story, because during that time of uncertainty where Jim didn't want to commit to marriage, Charlita's honesty was put to the test with a big, dark secret. And that secret was a man named Hector. 
he is actually he is a millionaire in Australia. Wait a minute, hold on. This story just took a turn. Yeah. So you had another Australian boyfriend, yeah. who was an, a millionaire, a millionaire, and you were dating him, at yeah. like while yeah. you were dating this other guy. Yeah, at that time I'm too naive. I thought I am the most beautiful woman oh, in the world. Oh, you're getting all the <laughs> you're getting all the attention. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I get all the attention. From these two guys, yeah. one was a millionaire. Oh, yeah. yeah. What that, happened with him? How come that uh, didn't... He is married. Oh, he was married. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wow. Yeah. So this secret relationship had been going on the entire time that Jim was not willing to commit to marriage with Charlita. But this is what's interesting. She spoke about Jim the entire time she was with Hector. She was very open about her desire to marry him, thinking he was the perfect guy for her. And Hector decided that he needed to step in and do something. He is the one who, he said, I will work for your papers to go to Australia, but run for your life. So my papers is ready already. He did all the, the financial part yeah. to get your papers. Yeah. But what do you mean run for your life? If I go to Australia, it's up to me to manage myself over there. Oh, he's not going to take care of you. He'll help you get there. Yeah. But that's it. I, I will help you to go there and run for your life. I told him, I told Hector, Hick, I'm going to marry. He said, go ahead. Because you stay with me, you are always a mistress. As a little bit of time passed, Hector changed his tune. And instead of telling Charlita to run for her life, he had a new idea. If your uh, fiance come over, I will speak to him, and I'll be the one to shoulder up all the expenses for your wedding. Wow. Yeah. It's just a new story, isn't it? That is a wild story. Yeah, this yeah. is like, I can't believe yeah. this so is all wedding coming out. Race, wedding band, reception, wedding cake, I'm too spoiled. Like yeah. you were, you were a princess. You were getting That's treated why I by all these. I am the most yeah. beautiful woman. <laughs> right? You have this millionaire. With the beauty. Yeah. And really bad. At that time, I am still 16. Did Jim know Hector? So yeah. Hector, you were the mistress of Hector, and you married Jim. And yeah. did they know each other? Yeah. Did they know anything about yeah. this? Yeah, as soon as he arrived, yeah. Hector told already him. Did Jim know about you being a mistress? Yeah. He knew everything. He knows everything. And he was okay with it? Yeah. He wow. told He told Hector, uh, Hector told him, you are getting married, and go ahead. I'll be the one to shoulder up all the expenses. And he just supported you two getting married? Yeah. That's a wild story. It's a wild. This it's is a, very, it's a, very. I'm so glad I captured this story. And three years, Hector he, he kept on uh, and checking on me. I said, then after that, I told Hector, Hick, I'm, I'm okay now. He kept checking on you to make sure everything was fine. Good. That you're yeah. set, you have everything you need. Yeah. Now, I have to ask you, I bet people would be curious, was there any continuation of being a mistress no after more. that? No more. So when you got married, you were yeah. completely... But the, yeah. the gossip always there. The thing is, my uh, point of view is honesty. Yes, yeah. I'm the same way, 100%. Oh, yeah. It's all about honesty. honesty. Because I told him, yeah. I'm going to get married a man. And then I told also this Jim, that Jim, this man used to be my boyfriend for mm -hmm. how many years. Yeah, you didn't keep any secrets from your I husband. I don't keep secrets. Even when he was sick already, uh, prostate cancer, and he kept asking me, go and enjoy your life. Go look for a man. Yeah. I said, no, Mike. I can't be three a man that loves me much. Yeah. yeah. And that's what my um, belief, you know, there's people that are having another one and they are already married. Yeah. Well, that shows a lot about you your... Don't, you don't love them. Yeah. Because I love my I love my husband That's very right. well. Never, never even a single thing because he have prostate cancer for eleven years. Mm -hmm. You know? Never. Yeah. Even once plenty of men there, you know? So if you were to say there's one thing, the secret to a successful marriage, you would say it's honesty. Honesty, honesty is the key. Yeah. Be open about everything. Yeah. Talk about yeah. everything. Now you're back here in the Philippines. Are you happy now, like living here? Just I'm happy. I'm living a simple just, life, yeah. Just think that he is, he is only, he's coming back. Yeah, yeah. right, yeah. yeah. His spirit is always around, right? Yeah, they reconduct. Oh, what about the man? I said, no, I don't need any more. Yeah, you've had your fun, huh? I have my fun, <laughs> yeah. Well, guess what? Australians give hugs, so do Canadians. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Take care. Alrighty. <laughs>
Well, if I learned anything from Charlita, it's that life is an adventure. Be true to who you really love, have a sense of humor, and honesty can get you through almost anything. Thanks for watching this one, guys, and we'll see you next time.